What's going on, everyone? My name is Anthony. You know me as Anthony's World. We are here with, of course, the Mr. Grant Hardy. If yes, you want to follow him on Instagram, it's underscore Grant Hardy. He is also trading live London because I know most of you that follow me are uh, traders. And so go check out tradersociety.com because this man's killing on the lives, catching hundreds of pips a week, and we have great signals. So, but... This is like we've been doing this like different spectrum of mini casts. Um, I have been seeing a lot of people doing mini casts and small podcasts instead of these like full length podcasts. And so it's really cool to see that we're doing the mini cast, we're doing the full podcast, we're doing vlogs, we're doing all of the above. But I think we changed the industry. We changed the game. We changed everything about podcasts and we can give people the small snippets that really matter. The raw, the real I was trying to think of another word that started with R. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just having fun here, and I hope you guys learned something. But today we are going to talk about leveling up. Leveling up. Yes, just what is the level up to you? What is it to me? What is it as combined? And at the end of the day, we're trying to find out if anyone really knows what the fuck they're talking about. So let's just figure it out. So my question to you is, I have actually, like, leveling up means a lot of different things to me. Number one, what does it take to level up? Mm -hmm. Number two, what does it mean when you actually level up? And number three, what does it entail when you have leveled up? When you've reached that point. Yes. Okay. So first, what does it take? What does it take? Number one, whenever I think of this question, you can't compare yourself to anyone else. You have to fully understand and acknowledge yourself and who you are and what you actually want. Because if your level up means that you're competing with the next person, you're going to be an endless black hole of competition. So I think if you are in full understanding of yourself and what you want, then those goals that you want will be your level up to the next step in your life. Because you're never going to reach that point if you're always competing with someone else. I think you should learn from everyone and then your focus should be on you and your family and everyone around you. Not to mention, if you're if you're competing with someone else, they have most likely, because if they're already at that different level, they've most likely been doing it longer than you. Yes. So they have a, a you're, you're comparing yourself yes. with a disadvantage. For example, if I was to take for someone that everyone knows, let's say someone like Grant Cardone, right? Super big on the internet, huge in real estate, very wealthy guy, right? Great, wonderful. But if I was to, I'm 27. But if I was to compare my chapter 27 to him at his age and where he's at, I'm going to be miserable my whole life yeah. trying to, oh, my God, I don't have this plane. I don't have this car. I don't, well, I don't He have didn't this. make his first million until 31. No, but I guarantee you, I get, you know, and, and, and I'm not even going to look that far. I'm going to simplify this in order to solve anything, right? You have to simplify things in the most simple, understandable way before you can build and construct on that, right? It's, and the, it's the little things, exactly. the small steps. And I guarantee you, sure, he can hop in his personal plane, fly anywhere in the world. That's awesome. I love that. But I bet he doesn't have as much free. I bet he has no more free time than I do. I would 100% agree with that. If he, If I wanted to not show up tomorrow and want if I wanted to if I wanted to leave and go anywhere in the world tomorrow I could do that yeah. and I have that same freedom so you have to learn what leveling up actually will mean to you that uh, facts and I quit comparing myself to others so number one if you want to level up quit comparing yourself to others and get to know yourself now 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 when you say this, you don't mean that like leveling up is a bad thing or, no. or not, not saying comparing yourself to others. You can use other motivation. people as motivation yes. because yes, the other people do have the cars, the lifestyle and everything. Yes. Use them as motivation. Yes. I would love to have the amount of real estate, real estate that Grant Cardone owns, sure. but would I want his lifestyle. No, no. 
Because I love my fucking life. I love my lifestyle. But then again, you and can't say that because you don't know him. I, you're you're a hundred percent right. But I can say that I'm only twenty seven, and he didn't make his first million until he was thirty one. So like, I'm sitting here still like at times until about a year ago. I compared myself to Grant Cardone. I did too, I'm but not, not I'm realizing not that he's you know thirteen, fourteen years older than me. And it's been doing this a lot longer and been riding the real estate high of growth. And so for me, it's like I, I compare myself to a lot of people. And so I, I really I like I resonate with that because it's like, no, like you don't need to compare yourself to other people. You need to just be able to make yourself grow and you need to use other people as motivation. Yes, he has private jets. OK, cool. He bought these private jets. Cool. I, I, I haven't flown non private in the last four fucking years. What's the difference? He owns the private jets. So that's fine. I still fly private. <laughs> like there's not you see what I'm saying like you, you, like and I get where you're coming from because there's it hasn't changed your life yeah. and it's not going to change your life and has the same as me comparing myself to other people and you comparing yourself to other people it hasn't changed your life and I'm not calling Grant Cardone out on anything no not at all we're not that's not what we're going for yeah, we're I, just using I, him right. as an idol or as an icon or as like a person that's right, an big example. as an example and so like I I really get with that and that's what it took for me in my life is when it came to leveling up because because personally, so like, you know, we, you're talking about how, what it takes to level up. Now it's like, okay, you've leveled up. Now you're at the point where I feel like you've, you've leveled up. So now that you've leveled up a little bit and I'm at the point now where I feel like I've leveled up and it's like, okay, what's after the level up? But you're in that process of like that next step, that next step. It's kind of cool to see because it's like, what is next for you? For me? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to lie. Being in the, the Forex world is like, I got to I gotta make all this money. I can get, I want to get this car. And and I also forget, too, who I was before I got in this industry. And if I wanted to buy a Lamborghini, some supercar, whatever, I could have done it. I could yeah. do it right now. Yeah. But I realized that that's not my goal. And I had to separate myself from the industry culture and focus on the knowledge that's there. And I think leveling up is literally creating value and self-worth for yourself and security for your family. And that is the true level up. And after that, like I've had that, right? And I have that. I hope to continue to have that. I want to nourish and make that flourish, right? Mm -hmm. But after that, what I want right now most, I told, I was telling you, like right now I want to get this super nice office in downtown Scottsdale and I want an entire recording studio and I want to go into music, whether it's other people, artists, Chris and I, like that's something that I want to do, but it's not the car. I'm not caught up in what other people are doing in this industry. And that's what because I know and understand myself. Yeah. That's, that's incredible, man. And I'm so glad that you, you learned that along this journey, like especially being with, you know, with me and everything else is because like, I feel like at first, I got caught up in the cars and I, and I, I say I did and I didn't, but when I bought the McLaren, like when I bought the McLaren, like I wanted a supercar. So I bought the McLaren Yeah, and that's awesome. And then the Pista for me was like, it was my screensaver and I don't know why it was my screensaver, but it was my screensaver. And it was just because I was, I felt like that was like the different breed and specimen of a car. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I bought it. But it's like, now it's like, like I'm so unimpressed by everything. It loses its wow factor. I see all these people being like, oh, yeah, I just bought this. I just bought that. I just bought this car. I just bought that car. I bought this watch. I bought and that. And no I'm no disrespect back. to anyone that's done it and that's been Fact. their goal. Agree. Because it's incredible. It I is. Agree. I agree. I, and I, I fully respect. Like, if that's what you want to do. But I'm really at a point where I'm sitting back and I'm like, I'm seeing this. And I'm like, like, dude. The dynamic changes over time. You don't realize what actually is fucking coming and what is actually fucking happening in this world. And like, I get it. You're cool. You bought a fucking watch. Dude, I could have bought a like, like, and that's like the part of me that's like, I have a hard time like being like trying to be like, you know, as we said, big dick swinging. I have a hard time doing that because I don't want to be that guy. Mm -hmm. But it's like, yo, like y'all, like these people need to chill out. These people need to understand like, the, the the bigger, the faster the rise, the harder the fall. I truly believe, right, we've learned in trading and Forex, we were just talking about this, 
the markets will humble you. The economy. Yes. When this reverses with with everything that's happening, when this reverses, it will humble you. It is. It's going to humble all these people. And I'm sitting back and I, I can tell you, like, I've contacted all these mentors and I've been like, guys, like, like, I promise you. A lot of these people on Instagram are going to die up here. They're going to fade away into abyss. And I'm sitting back and I'm going to sit back and I'm going to say, like, watch who's still standing. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be gonna the be, fucking It's going to be hard truth. for all of us. It, oh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. I'm t- And I know that for a fact. But it just it like it saddens me and it scares me and it like humbles me because it's like it's like I'm sitting back and it's almost there's sometimes where I've questioned myself or if I'm doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. Because you like should always do that. You should, but you should also be like understanding that like For sure. Yeah, like 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 dude, like we've been talking about buying a Bugatti and this and all that shit, and it's like I just I can't find myself to pull that trigger. I can't find myself to spend that kind of money. And I love the fact that you are so real with yourself. You're like, you know what? I don't need it. No, I'm not going to do that. What, like, in reality, like, besides the that small percentage, what is the difference in me pulling up in the Pista and the Bugatti? The Pista still has the wow factor. You, you, there, there's a connection factor. Facts. I and, will and 100% it, agree. You, but am you, I ready for that? I'm 27. You got a lot of life. I'm, am I ready? Like, like, the hardest thing and the biggest thing that I've learned about leveling up is... Stop trying to force and push that level up Mm -hmm. because like, like I bought my first supercar at 25, 24. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of people that don't get to ever buy a supercar ever in their life. It is a complete fallacy dream that they feel like it can never be achieved. And then, you know, when I bought the supercar, I literally was like, that was easy. All right, when's the next one? It's not fulfilling enough. It's not. It's not. And, and that, it takes a long time to realize that, that the supercar is not fulfilling. Guys, like, I could have done bought fucking multiple Bugattis. You, like, he I literally called me one everything. night. Everything. He literally called me one night and was like, dude, I'm going to buy a Chiron. I'm going to do it. I remember that night. Trigger. Me, you, and Conrad were all on the phone. Right. I'm going to actually do it. I'm literally filling out and submitting the paperwork tonight. Yep. And you didn't do it. And I'm really proud of you that you didn't do it because I feel like there's an unnecessary pressure and that there's other focuses than the next biggest, baddest, materialistic thing. And I think that there's more things internally that you have to understand that is actual growth. Yeah. It's and it's true. not always, it doesn't have to be now, financial. Now, I will say, though, like buying the Ferrari, buying the Bugatti, or buying whatever, it is a goal of mine. For sure. It's a goal of mine. Right. And it's not because it's a fucking car. It's not because of that. It's because of the fact that I can write a three and a half million dollar check. And so, like, that's part of that leveling up. But, like, I feel like I've already bought the Bugatti. Like, in my mind, I've already bought the Bugatti. In my mind, I've already leveled up. In my mind, I've already succeeded everything that I thought was possible. Mm-hmm. So now my goal purely is to help everyone else succeed their goal. Exactly. Because you're not, you're not going to do that either unless... You level up literally yourself internally and how you communicate, how you interact, how and you how I see. Grow. Yes, and how you grow just as a person. Mm-hmm. The world and the universe will not reward you with those things because, like, at the end of the day, the energy you put in is what you get out. Yep. And if you don't have that energy within yourself to give out, you're not going to get it. And it, and also, like, it's, it's, the, it's the example of the bad fruit. You know, if you put one piece of bad fruit in a bucket full of healthy fruit, Mm -hmm. the bad fruit spreads and kills all the other fruit. But if you put one thriving and growing and and exhilarating fucking piece of fruit, it's going to make the other fruit grow and be better and be stronger. Yep. And so, like, what I've, like, learned is that I just have to be better. Yep. And And so my level up is not materialistic. No. It's literally creating value about yourself across every spectrum and materialistic objects should be the last. And I think that's like the biggest point of this is like, don't, don't give in. We've been preaching this a lot lately. Yes, we have been. And it's because we're all experiencing growth. And another thing is, is that what I want to say is, and this is my, my big motivational spill at the end of the day, before we end this podcast is don't feed into the motivation, become the motivation, Um, the motivation. I love that. Become the growth, become the understanding 
and simply just try and become what you want to see the world to be. Mm-hmm. And then that's that's the true level up. Because sometimes your level up is not physically, sometimes it's spiritually, and sometimes you need to become that level up. Yeah. And it took me to real like it took me going to Miami, it took me all these other places and going to these other places is to say, I don't need that. Yep. I don't need to be the bigger person. I don't need to be the better person. I don't need to be the guy that's got the the fucking biggest schlong in the fucking room. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't need to be that. I don't I'm not I'm at a point in my life where I don't need to be anything other than what I am being. Right. Or you what I'm trying to, to be. The best version. Of yourself. And, that is and that's true the true level up. That's how you level up. I love it. That is the end of this uh, little long <laughs> mini cast. But we are here with Grant Hardy. My dude is leveling up. He's growing. He's crushing it. Um, if you want to tune into his live sessions, go ahead and check out TraderSociety.com. We also have a Patreon coming because... We want to share value to our special members and we want to make them grow as well with us. And then we'll, we want them to help them level up and grow. Make sure you're also following me on Instagram. It is underscore Anthony's Road. And please, please go ahead and share this video. Also turn that notification bell on. Subscribe and share. And just, you know, drop a comment below of if this helped you or if we fucked up or if we didn't help you. Whatever the fuck you want to say, drop it below because I want to hear what you have to fucking say. Just because it's fucking fun, and if you like it, you fucking like it. If you don't, you don't. I really don't care because I'm going to keep doing me, and I'm going to keep doing my thing. So let's grow.